we want to solve the separable differential equation and also use the initial condition y of zero equals three to write the answer as a formula in the variable t. In order to solve a separable differential equation, we're going to manipulate the given equation so it's in the form of a function of y times dy equals, in this case, a function of t times dt. So looking at the given differential equation, let's begin by factoring the denominator. So we'd have dy dt equals t divided by, again, the greatest common factor of these two terms is y, so we'd have y times the quantity t squared plus one. So if we want to have all the y terms on the left and the t terms on the right, we don't want this y here in the denominator, so let's multiply both sides of the equation by y. So we'd multiply the right side by y, the left side by y, so we'd have y times dy dt equals t divided by the quantity t squared plus one. And now we'll multiply both sides of the equation by dt. So we have y dy equals t divided by the quantity t squared plus one dt. Notice now we do have the equation in the form where we have a function of y times dy equals a function of t times dt. So for the next step, we integrate both sides of the equation. So we'd have the integral of y dy equals the integral of t divided by the quantity t squared plus one dt. Now integrating, on the left side we'd have y squared divided by two plus c. Let's write that as one half y squared. And because we'll also have a constant integration on the right, let's only put the constant on the right. So we'd have one half y squared equals, and integrate here with the perform u substitution or let the denominator be equal to u, so we'd have u equals t squared plus one, so differential u is equal to two t dt. Notice we only have a t dt, so if we divide both sides by two, notice how one half differential u is equal to t dt, which means we can think of all of this as just one half times one over u du, so the integral in terms of u would be one half times natural log absolute value of u, which means in terms of t, we'd have one half times natural log absolute value of t squared plus one, plus the constant of integration, let's call it plus c sub one. Now notice how t squared plus one is always going to be positive, so we really don't need the absolute value here. Now we're gonna work on solving this for y, so for the next step, let's multiply both sides by two, which should give us y squared equals two times the quantity one half natural log of the quantity t squared plus one plus c sub one. So distributing, we have y squared equals natural log of the quantity t squared plus one. And we really have plus two times c sub one, which is just another constant. Let's let c be equal to two times c sub one, so we just have plus c. Let's continue solving for y on the next slide. So now to solve for y, we take the square root of both sides of the equation. We would normally have a plus or minus here, but we were told that y is greater than zero. So we can say that y equals the square root of natural log of the quantity t squared plus one plus c. So this would be the general solution to the given differential equation. But remember, we want to find the particular solution given the initial condition y of zero equals three. So using the initial condition y of zero equals three, we can substitute zero for t, three for y, and solve for c, which will give us the particular solution. So making the substitution, we would have three equals the square root of natural log of t squared plus one would be zero squared plus one plus c. So we have three equals, this is gonna be natural log one which equals zero. So we just have three equals the square root of c. So to solve for c we would square both sides of the equation, which gives us c equals nine. So by substituting nine for c in the general solution, we now have the particular solution given the initial condition. 
So we would have y equals the square root of natural log of the quantity t squared plus one plus nine. And again, this is called a particular solution. I hope you found this helpful.